So Jaime Munguia right now, he has options to fight Caleb Plant. And Caleb Plant, um, he was looking for a fight with Jamal Charlo, possibly Verlanga. I didn't think the Verlanga fight was going to be uh, in line because uh, just a lot of things that could actually happen. I don't know if I was thinking of something crazy like uh, Plant possibly rematching Canelo. I mean, Canelo doesn't have many options. So it's crazy as that sounds. Canelo trying to fight a couple more years, so he needs opponents. But uh, I was just thinking of something crazy like that. But who knows, man? Uh, we thought the Jamal Charlo fight was going to happen until he got arrested recently and got his belt stripped. So that's something that uh won't even happen. Then the Carlos Adamas fight with him won't happen. Um, So they're moving on with that situation. So Caleb Plant, he's moving on. He's looking for a big fight. He's been sitting on the shelf about a year and a half now, almost uh, yeah, almost a year and a half now. So uh, he's trying to move and find a big fight. And he has a lot of options. But uh, Munguia just coming off the big fight he had recently. He's not really going to have uh, any any options because Dervyachenko, now he has a fight filled up that I'll announce soon. But um, – He's not really available as well. They already talked to, about uh, to Derby and Chico about a rematch. That's not happening. Caleb Plant versus uh, Charlo is not happening. Uh, so right now, man, they're looking at Munguia versus uh, Caleb Plant, which could possibly be happening soon. Uh, last time I had rumors drop like this, a lot of the fights didn't happen, but they the rumors were true. But the moves were made a different way, so but the rumors were true. But the moves were switched around and Ryo had to go a different direction, even though he was going to fight De Los Santos. Just a lot of stuff like that happens. But with Munguia and um Caleb Plant, it's definitely around the right time that they are putting the fight together or thinking about planning it because Caleb Plant needs a fight. Munguia does too, doesn't have opponents. Everybody's filled up for this year basically until the end of the year, we don't know how many times these guys are going to fight. Some guys twice, some guys three times. So it's kind of confusing. But I definitely feel like uh, Caleb Plant is going to be at a high level. He stays in shape. But will it be enough for what Munguia has been through the last couple of months? He's fought some high competition, so he's probably got a lot of more experience. And we'll see. You know, So I'm definitely feeling like it's going to be a – Explosion. If if this card is put together with Crawford, uh, Cruz, and all these guys, these same fights with Haney, all on the same card, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be one of the best cards ever. So Turkey Alasik is definitely um making some huge moves right now. That'll be a huge card. Devin Haney and Pitbull Cruz, um, or Shakur Stevenson, um. And then Crawford versus Canelo, and then Plant and Munguia. So those will be huge cards. I definitely feel like Turkey Alasheep making some big moves right now, showing that these promoters really ain't doing their job. You know what I'm saying? They definitely not. But the money talks. It definitely talks. So business is getting done, so I'm happy about that. Happy about certain fights being talked about. But um, that's big time. You know, some of these guys can be the greatest after this year. You know what I'm saying? Some of these guys can be in that conversation. Or start to become part of the conversation. But we will see. We'll see. That's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.